my car sales pitch on how to why, why we get the flu vaccine. The flu vaccine is not always perfect. And you know, it doesn't always protect against influenza as completely as we would like, because it's a guess. They have to you know, um, predict what strains are going to be prevalent and they're not always right. So it's not going to 100% prevent influenza, but it does make a significant difference in reducing the complications of influenza, reducing hospitalizations from influenza and deaths from influenza. And in my mind, what we're looking at with vaccines is to try to prevent people from having severe illness or dying. And no matter what strains they get in the vaccine, it does do that every year. The high dose flu shot is exactly what it sounds like. It's higher dose than the regular dose. Um, it is intended for people who are over age 65, uh, no matter what kind of health conditions they have, everybody over 65 should get the high dose vaccine. And then people under 65 would get the low dose or the regular dose vaccine. We recommend doing the flu shot in the fall. Typically, September, October, November is, is kind of the time that we really push flu vaccines. I'd say October this year has been really the sweet spot uh, where we've really been pushing it hard. Um, but we can do them even through early winter, um, you know, into January and February. If people haven't been vaccinated, uh, they can still get the vaccine at that time. The pneumonia vaccine can be given year round. Um, that is not a seasonal illness. So it can be given any time. Um, that is going to be given to people who are over age 65 um, or people who are under 65 who have certain health conditions, uh, like if they've got diabetes or they've had their spleen removed or uh, you know, a couple of other conditions as well, but mostly over age 65. COVID-19 makes things very complicated. <laughs> So we are pleading with people to get the flu vaccine this year. Um, you know, we don't know, if, are, are people going to be sicker if they have influenza and COVID th at the same time? I would presume they probably would be. Um, plus influenza and COVID symptoms, there's a lot of overlap. So if you have one, we have to assume you have the other as well. Um, so it's going to just make things very complicated as far as quarantining, um, you know, keeping schools open, keeping businesses open. Um, and trying to keep people out of the hospital. So influenza vaccine this year is, is huge.